Next week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Albuquerque, New Mexico to see the military's hottest new technology. Imagine being blasted by a wall of energy. It feels like your whole body is burning and you have to get away from it. But it's not really hurting you at all. Sounds amazing, doesn't it? It's the new non-lethal weapon called Active Denial. Uh, we're at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico, and this is the Air Force Research Laboratory. And we're standing here in front of what we call Active Denial System Zero. This weapon offers a long-range ability to reach out and give a non-lethal effect to a human and tell them, don't come here. They'll know, they'll get the point. But it's, it's much longer range than any non-lethal weapon up to this point. The 95 gigahertz millimeter wave goes through the air, it's silent, and it's invisible to the human eye. Uh, we chose 95 gigahertz specifically because it goes through the air without losing much of its energy. Active Denial produces millimeter waves and can focus them on targets over 500 meters away. The heating sensation begins almost immediately. And it's very similar to if you were to reach out and touch a hot stove and you were to jerk your hand back almost before you even think about it. It's, it's an instinct. And this, is, this has been shown to, to create that effect all over your body without even thinking about it. You jerk out of the way. And basically what happens is it, it penetrates just underneath your skin, about 1 64th of an inch, and heats up a layer of water that's there just next to your nerve endings. And, it, and it, it heats up that water so that you feel like you're very hot. To me, it felt like I was opening an oven, and it was a heating sensation that very quickly washed over my body. But the minute I got out, I wasn't hot anymore. To see how active denial works, let's check out electromagnetic waves. These waves can be as long as a football field or as short as an atom. The longest ones are the radio waves, used for radio and GPS. Next come microwaves, like in microwave ovens and radar. Then infrared waves, we can feel them as heat. Visible light waves, we see them as the colors of the rainbow. Ultraviolet light waves, and finally the really short waves, like X-rays and gamma rays. The active denial millimeter wave is a high frequency microwave, but not at all like your microwave oven. The microwave in your oven radiates at a much different frequency. The wavelength is designed to penetrate into the food. This technology, the 95 gigahertz wavelength is so short that it actually cannot penetrate your skin. It will not heat you internally. It's a very uh, superficial heating sensation. Active denial has also been put on a Humvee, so it can be taken wherever it's needed. Batteries store the energy in the engine part of the Humvee as well as in battery packs that are located under the floor. The energy goes to the gyrotron, which transforms it into millimeter waves. Those millimeter waves go up through an aperture to a subreflector, bounce off the main reflector, and are shined downrange. This technology is so cool, so cutting edge. The gyrotron, the components on this, using hybrid electric vehicles, and being able to control someone's actions or identify what they're maybe trying to do from so far away without having to hurt them may be the coolest project that I get to work on. To find out more about millimeter waves or other electromagnetic waves, check out labtvonline.org.